We tried Times Tales. Did we like it? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your time. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool. And today I want to talk about Times Tales. So I had heard amazing things about Times Tales. And so I wanted to try it out because my daughter in third grade knew her times tables. She could go through those flashcards. She could answer the questions. She knew them. We, when we got into fourth grade, I don't know what happened. She totally forgot them, forgot them. And so I was trying to come up with some activities for her to remember her times tables again because she had forgotten them. Um, so I had heard so much great things about Times Tales that I went ahead and purchased it. So Times Tales, you get the DVD and some and then printables. So here's the DVD and then you have the printables. Um, you also have a little storybook that this is the story of what they tell you on the DVD. So um, you have the different characters that are look like numbers. And then you have the workbook. So with the workbook, you have to talk, retell the story. You learn the story. You talk about how you can see that the three is a butterfly, the four is a chair. So you put all of those different pieces in and then you do tests and things like that. So you have also have the flashcards with the, um, the workbook. And so this will show you like, this is the eight, the snowman is the eight. And there are rules about how you have to memorize the story exactly the way it is told. So for example, um, if you want the number 48, four is the chair, eight is the snowman. And so you have to memorize it that way um, for you to be able to remember that it's 48 and not 84 basically is what they want you to do. So now let's get to, did we like it? Did it work? Which is really the big point is, did it work? Not necessarily did we like it, but did it work? Um, did she like the videos? Well, she thought they were okay. She caught on really quickly as to what the stories were about, why they were told the way they were, and she could retell the stories very quickly. She, she can still retell me the stories of the different um, activities and the trees and different things that were going on within the story, within, you know, their classroom and their chairs, etc. She can tell me those stories. Did it make her learn her times tables? No. She did not like it well enough to internalize it. So she can still tell me the stories and she will tell me the whole story. She could tell me the story to get to your product for your multiplication. But the problem was, is she refused to apply it. She thought that it was too young for her. Now they say that this is for grades three to five. Um, and I think that the bigger problem that we had is because she had already known her times tables. If this was something that you were starting out with and you were utilizing this either at the beginning or very near the beginning, then I would think that this would be an amazing resource. I would have loved it if we would have used it um, at, in third grade when she was first learning those multiplication tables. I think that we would have had a very different outcome. Our issue really came in with the fact that she already knew the times tables. She already knew them when she was in third grade and it was a mental block. It was willpower. It was motivation on her part as to whether she was going to learn those times tables and remember them or not. Um, since, since then she has learned them since then we don't have any issue with those multiplication tables, 
but this really was not how she learned them. When it was time for her to learn them, when she was finally motivated for her to learn them, she asked for the flashcards. That is what she wanted for the um, for memorizing the times tables, for the practice for the times tables. She wanted flashcards, that's just the way she was. And so even though this did not work for us, um, I definitely think that there is a place for it. I think that there are a lot of students who will benefit from it, um, but we just weren't one of them. <laughs> so I hope that this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below, and I will be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm so thankful that you joined me. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.